Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at this Honest Outfitters 3 to 4 season sleeping bag and I'm going to tell you why I picked it up. Alright everybody, welcome back. Now I know sleeping bags can be a personal thing. A lot could be depend, depend on what temperature you like to sleep at. Some like it super warm, some like to be cold yet covered up in a nice blanket. And some just like to be cold when they're sleeping. I happen to be a person that likes to be a little bit on the cooler side when I'm sleeping. I also live in a climate where very rarely does it get down to 35, 40. <laughs> so something like this is perfect for, you know, my go gear, my pack, you know, my packs. Now I already have one of these and I've used it. I used it to actually camp up um, on Mount Charleston. We used it once before and it kept me more than warm enough and it was very cold up there. It was like fall and in the temperatures at nights can drop down to the 20s and teens up there even. So for me, this was perfect. I think personally it's a little bit better rated than 35 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. They say it's a three to four season bag. So if you live in a super cold climate, I would say look for something heavier. But for my use locally here, this is perfection. You know, it really does work well. So for my bug out gear, something like this is good. Now don't get me wrong, I do have a heavier, really cold temperature sleeping bag. It just doesn't live in my bug out bag. And in my vehicle, I always carry wool blankets. So if I ever am in a situation where I'm bugging out and I need something warmer, I can use the blankets to warm me up. I also have another, you know, the little bivy in my bug out bags, those little plastic bivvies that you can slide in. So one way or another, I'm gonna stay warm. So. I have, uh, I've owned many sleeping bags in my past. I've made a lot of mistakes buying them. I didn't know what I was doing. And for the money here, this seems like a pretty decent one. So I'm going to stand it upright. We're going to open it up and I'm going to show you what it looks like. One, two. I'm going to give you a quick little uh, bit of information on this. It's uh, 2.9 pounds, 87 inches by 32 inches by 4 inches. The comfortable range they say is between 35 and 40, which we already talked about. And the Velcro design in the hood helps keep you a little bit warmer. Two. The construction is 210T polyester ripstop. Um, it is a very comfortable feeling sleeping bag when you open it up. So, let's get it open and see. Now I have it really compressed down here because I've been messing around with it because I kind of forgot, you know, from using my other one, it's wrapped up in, the way I have my other sleep kit arranged is my tent, my cover pad for the ground underneath my tent, and the sleeping bag all in one thing rolled up into a big ball and it's not much bigger than this um, I was able to compress it down pretty good now I will say one thing the older one came with a little bit of a better compression sack this one also came with these reversed so you couldn't really pull them they were underneath so I had to reverse them other than that no problems so let's open it up take a look here I was able to really cinch it down pretty good, so the compression sack works very well. I just had to change the direction in which the uh, straps were done. Because it was kind of hard to compress it when you're pulling under here and pushing down. So, let's take a look. Now this does come with an inner sack, a black sack, and I did forget it in the other room. However, I don't use it because I just figure it's extra weight. The compression sack really does everything I need it to do. So. There we go. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to see the whole thing. We'll do that when we take it outside. But as you can tell, that's a pretty decent um, fabric. One thing I did check was I went over all the stitching on it. I don't see any loose little stitching anywhere. Everything is very, very neat, well made, stitched up together nicely. The zippers are nice and smooth. I'll give you a demo of that. If I've got the right end here. There we go. So, you've got a little cover here. That will cover your zipper. The zippers are really nice and smooth. You know, there's no jerky motion, it just slides and glides. Really nice. They feel to be well-made zippers, they're not YKK. And again, this is made in China, so let's get that out of the way right away. Um, here's your hood that you can pull around you. And the pull tie is here, so you can just pull that up around your head. And this has a little neat feature that the other one had too, and I, I never really knew what it was for. I almost thought it was a mistake. Um, 
in my other bag. I couldn't figure out why it was there. But uh, there's a little pocket here. A little Velcro pocket. And you can put a hand warmer in there. I believe it's for a cell phone or any other stuff. Like if you take off your jewelry at night, whatever, you can stuff it in there and it's fairly secure. So let's get it outside. I want you to see the size of it. And we're going to open it up and uh, see what it so looks I've like. So I've got it laid out here, and of course right now it's probably in the 90s outside, so I'm not going to get in there and melt. But I will tell you that it um, is a very comfortable sleeping bag. And for situations like this, you know, when you're out here in the desert, and maybe you just want to use it as a pad if you happen to sleep during the daytime. I personally wouldn't sleep during the daytime in the desert because it's just too hot. But... Um, you know, you could lie on that. You could just lie down, sleep on it. Let's take a look up front there and see the uh, zippers and the whole All internals. right, so we've got the corner here. Remember, like I told you, it has the, uh, the Velcro to keep the zipper from opening. Nice, smooth opening zipper. Let's take a look inside here. It does have a little padding here. So I guess you could stick your pillow up in that area if you wanted. Um, I generally I use an inflatable pillow when I camp. Just makes it a little easier. But um, I tend to sleep on my side, and this bag was more than enough room for me to roll over on my side. I'm about uh, six one. Definitely long enough. Let's give you a full look here. Definitely long enough for me, and comfortable. And like I said, the one time I did use it when it was very very cold in the morning, it definitely provided adequate uh, warmth for me. Um, I'm just amazed it's so light, yet it feels so thick, you know, and kind of fluffy and comfortable. It, uh, it is a really nice bag for the money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get inside, and uh, we're going to take it inside because I'm not going to lie out here in the heat in it. <laughs> we're going to take it inside, and I'm going to get inside and let you see what it looks like with me inside of it and uh, see how comfortable it is. All right. So there's my feet down at the bottom. More than comfortable enough. Lots and lots of room. My head is inside the top. So, I would say if you're taller than 6'1", maybe 6'4 and above, this might not be the right bag for you, but it definitely fits me okay. So let's get it back up on the counter there and uh, give you some final information, my final thoughts on it, and where you can pick it up. All right, so there you go. Um, I don't have it compressed down a lot right now. I'm just kind of put it back in there quickly. It is easy to put back into the compression sack. And for those of you that haven't used compression sacks yet for your gear, I recommend you go out and get them. They make a world of difference and they make very big things into very small packages. Now you don't necessarily have to roll this up like I did. I fold it over in the middle and roll it up. And I seem to, you can just stuff it in the bag. I seem to notice something here. I misread the uh, the information. Did I say 2.9 pounds or 2.8 or whatever? It says it's three pounds. And your length again is 29 this way, 29.5, 74.8 and 11.8 for the hood. So all in all, it fits me good. It's comfortable for my climate. That's good. Now remember, you're picking a sleeping bag out for your own personal climate. Like I said, if you come from an area that's freezing cold all the time that's probably not going to keep you warm. <laughs> so if you live in Alaska, don't yell at me for, you know, telling you to buy one of these because I'd rather you bought something that kept you warm and uh, bought it from wherever you could. You know, that's kind of how I am about it. But for me, in an unheated garage, when I first got this way back, um, not this one, the other one that I have in my kit, I tried it in here on a cold day. And, you know, I put a pad down, I put a, pit blanket, a pillow down because it's kind of hard to enjoy it without a pillow. And um, it, was, it was perfect, nice and warm. And it was cold in here, it was nice and warm. And when I used it camping that one time, um, that's the only time I used it, again, it was up on the mountains, it gets very, very cold in the mornings, and it kept me nice and warm. Although getting out of it kind of stunk, because <laughs> it was cold outside. But it definitely works good for my uses. Um, all of the construction seems very, very well made. You know, it's got uh, decent seams, the embroidery on it's perfect. The, the polyester bag itself actually feels like a more expensive sleeping bag. If you've ever felt some of those uh, really expensive ones that go down to like 15 or minus, you know, zero, whatever, um, they, it feels just like this bag. The insulation and everything, the weight, it's very, very light. 
um, and it's, it's very comfortable. The bulk is an issue too for me a little bit, but I was able to take that down by rolling the, the, everything into one pack. So you got the tent in there, the ground mat, you know, for your tent, this and the inflatable pillow all rolled up into one thing. And it's about, it's a, you know, honestly, maybe about a little bit bigger because the tent is very light. It's the, uh, the one I reviewed a while back, that high tech Tia Tioga. And, um, that fits in there really well. It's all one piece tent. So it's easy. There's no rain fly or anything. It's just one piece that, you know, it's a bivy. So it's a small tent. So it all fits together. And that one seemed to work very, very well for me. Um, I do like the pocket on the top there that I showed you. That's for the cell phones or your keys or whatever. Gives you a nice quick access to something you might need right away. Yet, it's put somewhere where it won't get lost. You won't wake up in the morning and roll over on it. It's right there. So I'm pretty pleased with it. You know, all in all, these run about $29.99. So it's not super expensive. I will give you a link down below where you can pick one up. Um, they are on Amazon. But I, again, if you can find them cheaper somewhere else, go for it. You know, I'd, I'd rather you get the deals on stuff than buy from me and pay more, <laughs> honestly. Uh, it, uh, it's pretty darn good. And I don't have it really cinched down here. I could get it down a little further. I just kind of threw it in there and pulled the straps. You know, like I said, the only thing I had to do was switch the straps around. Because originally they had them set up where this was underneath. And trying to press down when you're trying to pull behind this is kind of hard. So that's my only complaint with how they set it up. And that's a two-second, you know, repair. That's no big deal. It's got a three-year warranty on it, so if anything goes wrong with it, you can send it back, and they will take care of you. It is waterproof, and uh, all in all, pretty darn comfy sleeping bag for the size and weight. I like the weight. It looks, because it's, you know, because it's this big, it looks like it would be a heavy sleeping bag like my other ones that I have, yet really light, really comfortable. So I'm loving it. <laughs> you know, I'm really happy. This one's going to go into uh, my wife's bug out bag, and... Uh, get it set up for her and um, now she'll have a tent with this rolled up in it and her sleeping mat and everything in it so that is the video for today hope you enjoyed it i will like i said i'll put a link down below to where this is on amazon underneath that will be the link to our amazon store so if you don't mind just click that link shop as you normally would on amazon it really helps out the channel or most of the gear that i try to review is in there so you can check out the gear that i review there too underneath that we have our olight link check them out they always have good deals um they have become my new fl new favorite flashlight company because they're just so innovative and they have such nice stuff. Um, I've pretty much switched out all of my old lights that I had. A lot of them were no-name brand stuff to O lights, and uh, I'm pleased with them. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link below that. If you're interested in getting started in freeze-dried food and freeze-dried food storage, that's a good place to start. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe and stay prepared.